In today's video, we're looking at an ideal ISA and it's HE35. So what the problem is, you can see at the front, we've got this LF code displaying here. So what we're going to do, we're going to investigate how we're going to fault find on this. And Miles is going to be talking about this because this is part of his training. So you'll hear him go through his diagnostics, what he's going to do. So we're just going to restart, restart the sequence by pressing the reset button and seeing where it's going wrong. So the boiler's started up and you can hear it trying to ignite. So we'll do this about three times, three or four times before shutting down and showing the fault. So now the, now the fault's shown up, so we're going to investigate. So we'll turn the power off. And now I can. So I'm just going to remove the fuse. So as you can see, it's out now. So to get inside, there's a screw here and here. So just going to remove them. So to get the cover off, you're going to have to remove a screw here and here. So now we're undoing the screws to get inside the combustion area. There's just four. It doesn't drop off when you remove the screw. So firstly we're going to check, is there a spark present? And there's two ways of doing this. You can either remove the spark electrode, or if you've got a spare one, you can take this off and put it on your spare one and see if it's sparking. So here's our spare one, we're just going to attach it to the plug, make sure it's in, and then it's a bit not touching, but just about there. So I'm going to put the fuse back, start the valve, and see if we get that spark. So no, doesn't look like we're getting the spark at all. No. And turn it off again and remove the fuse again. I've turned the boiler off and now we know that this isn't a problem. And now we're going to look at the spark generator and see if there's power being sent to it. So to test the power going to the generator, we remove the lead. I'm going to put our multimeter inside, turn the boiler on and see if we're getting power. So our leads are connected, we've turned it on. And as you can see, we're getting 240 volts. Which means that because power's being sent to the generator, the generator must be faulty. However, if there was no power being sent, that means there's an internal fault on the board. So I'm gonna remove the plug from the spare electrode from the spark test and put it back on. The process to change in this spark generator, we'll remove this lead here. There's a screw there and a screw on the other side which you actually can't see, just in this gap. New generator's in, just tighten up that screw and putting this back. Now we can reconnect this. That's the right way. So now we can turn it back on and see if it works. So there you go, we've got ignition. 
So they're the fault finding that you have to go through if you have this problem. But it's just going back to the basics. And there you go. So I've turned the boiler off because it was a bit loud. But, however, you can see the process, what I went through, and how we, we discovered that it was the spark generator what needed replacing through my training and using the Master the Basics program. It's very useful, especially if you're a new engineer, so I highly recommend it. As you can see, live in the flesh, it works. So that's the end of the video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.